I'm going to research how to catch these big boys. I'm going to go into town tomorrow and get the right equipment and we're going to catch it. Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last episode, we finished around the beach camps of Esperance. So in this episode, we hope to show you down towards Starvation Bay and Mason Bay and maybe onto Betty's Beach, but that'll be dependent on how far we get. We definitely want to wine. Um, wine. Yeah, wine. <laughs> we definitely want to wine. We I definitely want to wine wanna... down. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely want to wine down and stay somewhere for a little bit longer this time. Um, yeah, just maybe on a beach spot. So we'll see what that brings. Um, yeah, so looking forward to it. Let's go. Let's go. We just caught some footage of a paraglider taking off off the coast here at um, uh, Twilight Beach. Observatory no, Point. Ob observatory Point, that's right. And um, yeah, no, it was pretty cool. I thought he was going to crash into a hill to start with there. Yeah, it was a bit of a dicey takeoff. Well, we're not, we're not experts, just for the record. <laughs> I'm sure he knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah. We just caught a glimpse of some lagoons off to the side. Megan said she was doing some research on some cool beaches uh, along this coast here. And um, what was it, the one that you said that everyone raves about? Ten Mile Lagoon. Oh, here it is, 10 miles. Oh, 10 miles. Spin around. Let's see. 10 mile lagoon. It's pretty windy still. Well, we might have to, you can't see much from the car park, so we might have to um, jump out and have a look. I don't know if we'll stop and drag the kids out, because, um, you might find one that's a little bit more protected from the wind. I think this is where they get access to the beach down here. Let's have a look. So this is 11 mile beach. I reckon there's a lagoon down there too. Wow. Oh, that's so good. Whoa. <laughs> the best I've seen yet. It's like wicked little like swimming pools for the kids and me. That's cool. It's like crazy surf over the back of the reef and then just these like heaps calm little lagoon pools. It's hard to see you in your eyes. Oh it's not too bad. Yeah. Is it cold? That's the best. Now that was definitely the best 11 mile lagoon for the win. What do you think guys? The best one? Yeah. Oh, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Yeah. What do you think? 20 out of 10. 20 out of 10. <laughs> Oh, you got oh, it a million out of a million. A million out of a million. <laughs> Whoa. This is a good beach, guys. A We're about arriving at the Pink Lake. Well, it's not very pink. There's a, a small band of pink over there. Like, formerly changed to the Pink Lake, I think in the 70s, but due to a number of factors, the algae that causes it to go pink doesn't do it anymore. So it's more like a... Um, like a greeny grey lake, but it's still pretty nonetheless. Silver, I think. Silver. You heard it here. Silver. <laughs> Today marks the day we leave Esperance, so we're going to get some firewood and some groceries and then head off. Um, we've checked out this morning and we're hitting the road. So we've managed to book in three nights at uh, Starvation Bay, which is about an hour and a half uh, west of Esperance. So we're gonna go check that out. Megan's apparently found the good spot. Site 18, apparently it's the, the cream of the crop. Top so shelf. Top shelf. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll let you know in an hour or so when we get there. It's actually started raining, I'll spin around, but. Hopefully we'll get a couple of good days and um, we're, we're going to try and aim to get the boat out tomorrow, but we'll, 
once again see how the weather's looking and just play it by ear. We're just passing Manglen up. <laughs> Are you guys traveling back there? We're uh, at Starvation Bay, we're at the campground, so we've we've taken Site 6 for tonight because uh, we hadn't booked anything and they're actually currently switching over from um, First Invest Rest to book sites, so that starts tomorrow night. So um, we've booked 18 and 19, which is uh, right down over near the boat ramp, but um, we've taken that one's taken tonight, so we've just grabbed 6 because it's available, but it's still pretty cool. I mean, it's... Um, it's kind of like the road runs down this way and then it has a little pull-off section so I mean I'll spin it around you can have a look we're just cooking marshmallows yeah how was it Jackie. amazing you probably have to hold it up this time because it's so hot it's just melting off we got mosquitoes out tonight, so we've uh, got the repellent on, and these guys are wearing their hats. Mm -hmm. See if we can see Jack with his hat. Whoa, Jack, where's your hat? Mm. Hey? Don't need it? Nah, why it don't get me? He's just enjoying marshmallows. Good morning. Today is the day we move into our new site. But before we do that, I thought I'd give you a quick look at the beach. And hear it rolling in this morning to wake up to. It was awesome. And then we've just, my mum's made a beautiful prawn mango. Is that and a then, chili salad? Yeah. This is where we are right now. It's a beautiful place. Um, we're down at Starvation Bay. And um, we're going to go so, do some fishing today and go down for a swim. It's moving. Jump down. Jump in that clip. Oh, there he is. I'm practicing how to be a lifesaver when I know that. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright here called Honeymoon Island. I already told them. It's right out there. I You're, told them. Oh, okay, you told them, did you? Yeah. Well, 
Well, we, we had planned on getting out there, but um, the second we kind of went around, uh, the second we went around the headland, um, yeah, the swell got right up. As you can see, it's not bad. How are you guys going with your fishing? We're going to try a little bit of fishing here close to the shore and behind the headland and um, see how we go. Nice cast, Jack. Yeah. Did you say what would Dad do? <laughs> yeah. Arm braces. What would Dad do? <laughs> Probably help if it's early. We don't even have that, do we? Shh, don't tell everyone we forgot our bait. <laughs> There's no shops around here. <laughs> There's no shops, that's right, yeah. And after our last experience with bait, we don't carry it with us. It's probably obvious for everyone, but I'll say it nonetheless. Don't turn your freezer off when there's still bait in there. <laughs> I tell them just to leave me here because I love it too much. Not really. They're going to dump the toilet while I have one last little look at the beach. On a glorious day, this is Starvation Bay. Beautiful turquoise waters, white sand, beautiful rocks. It's so relaxing. I can imagine the snorkeling through here would be pretty fantastic. I wish we'd given it a shot. Today's like the nicest sunniest blue sky day and the water feels so warm. I wish we could stay a little bit longer but hopefully it'll be just as good at Mason Bay. Damn it they remembered to come back for me. Guess I better go with them. Hi family! Doot doot! We're at Mason Bay now. We're actually in two sites, but um, they, they have actually got some sites down the other end, but this one had absolute beachfront. Let me show you. So, it's actually a perfect spot if you, um, you want the view of the ocean, but still want to have a little bit of protection from the trees. So, um, yeah, straight down there on the beach, we saw over a 60 centimeter fish swimming around yesterday. I'm not sure exactly, I'm not heaps familiar with West Australian fish, but it looked like a tailor. Um, we've got the Fish WA app and um, we've been through all the fish they have over here. And I think it's a tailor, but um, you know, so we've set up some, some soft plastics for tomorrow to try and catch a few. So we'll see how we go there. But um, yeah, I'm not sure how many more nights of fires we're gonna get, so we've decided to you know, utilize it tonight. We've actually uh, hit up a guy on Facebook to deliver some wood to us, so which is pretty cool. They're everywhere, just yeah. look at them. I saw two before. There's three, one, two. All right, cool. Come here, look. There's a whole family of them going up and down the like shore break. Are you going to build a house here? Do you like it that much? Would you live here? If I could. Yeah? Don't hit me. Oh! Ah! <laughs> the water is so warm. 
Is it? What are you fishing for? Flathead. Flathead. Yum. Are you going for squid jack? Yum. I'm going to research how to catch these big boys. I'm going to go into town tomorrow and get the right equipment and we're going to catch it. You heard it here. I just took the boys for a trip into town to pick up some water. So we've actually got a hundred litre water tank on the Land Cruiser so that we can do trips into town to fill up instead of having to take the whole van with us. Because um, you wouldn't want to do that unless you were leaving the place probably as it's about half an hour into Hope Town from here. Um, which is easy without the van and towing everything and packing everything up. So I'm currently just pumping the water out of the car into our tanks. We've got 300 litres of water tanks under there, plus another 40 on the back in jerry cans, which like is heaps sufficient for us, but because we've been off grid for a fair while, we just wanted to top up for the next few days. With the 20 litre um, jerrys that we've had just sitting on the back of the van, we've never really known what to do with them because we tried tipping them in the washing machine and running it, like just filling it manually, but it stuffed it up. It just got confused and still tried to fill. So Greg's figured that we can siphon straight from here into the inlet where we fill up the water tank underneath. So as it's filling into there, it's then pumping back out. So we're able to use everything to pump everything straight into the van through the hose um, with zero effort from us. Just the push of a button. When I went into town, I picked up some fresh groceries as well. Mm. Put them there. So Mason Bay, you have to book online. I think the um, Raventhorpe Council uses a website called Space to Co, which um, I think they've just, like the last few days, they've switched over from first in best dress to booking, and this is the same. So um, I guess both both methods of booking have their pros and cons but the good thing is if you want a good site 32 and 31 perfect gone to the red wine just whining it's warm it makes me feel warmer the uh, emu exports first couple a little bit bitter, uh, but after that, they're actually quite smooth. The last few days, there's been some massive fish swimming around the bay, as we've said. Um, we've been trying to catch it, but unsuccessful so far. Um, Megan's actually just head down there now with real bait. We've gone from the soft plastics, we've tried our best, but we've now moved to the real bait. So let's go down and have a look how she's going. See if she's caught these cheeky little fish. One of the locals reckons it could be pike, but we'll go have a look. How's it going? Looking in the bucket. <laughs> Nothing in the bucket. <laughs> oh no. Mullet yesterday afternoon though, so I'm gonna try and get some more. Americans? You heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this one back out. Quarter herring. I'm catching lunch. Oh, They've got their, their boat and trailer rig, they've just been out. And they said it was pretty windy out the back there, so um, I think we'll continue doing some shore fishing because we're catching stuff, we're having some luck, and you know everyone's happy playing on the sand. So bonjour, bonjour. Megan's already caught some a few herring, or as we call them in SA, Tommies. Today it's just turned out this magic day, so we're making the most of it. Sitting down on the beach.
Well, we didn't quite make it past Mason Bay. We actually fell in love with uh, this place. So we, we actually originally planned to stay for three nights and we stayed for eight in the end. So uh, as you saw, Megan took out the prize for the most fish. Um, well done. I was going for, for size rather than than the total number but didn't really get any so next time <laughs> hope you enjoyed that guys we're gonna leave you there and uh start our journey down to albany and get ready for christmas so we'll see you there Hooray. Hooray.